What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Marvel's Avengers official trailer. I'm really excited for this game. I absolutely love that Marvel is finally doing more video games and they're coming out amazing. So let's get right into this video and check out this trailer. <laughs> The graphics look really good so far. I knew it was going to be Square Enix instead of Insomniac, which created the Spider-Man game that was really successful. So I don't know if it's going to be the same, but I'm I have high hopes for it right now. I did, and it was awesome. Iron Man. It looks really good, honestly. Thor looks pretty good. Captain America's iffy. I mean, everybody looks really good. The graphics wise, they look good. They didn't try to copy from the movies because it's going to be its own version, if that makes sense. It's going to be separate from the MCU. It's going to be the video game story in a way. This just got a whole lot more interesting. I've recently read certain things that apparently they're set up in some part and then you have to try to get the Avengers back together. That's going to be cool aspects. Incredible Hulk looks freaking beast right now. I'm really hoping they have it where throughout it you can play as certain characters. Not necessarily you get to choose who you're playing with, but at certain points of the game you might have to play with the Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, like do it like that. I think that would be a very cool aspect. Like this part here, I could see, <laughs> that was funny. I could see you playing as Hulk and doing doing it that way. I think that'd be a better approach to it. And I think they're going to do it, I hope. Cap, what's going on over there? Don't, don't know what's happening. Oh, it's been boarded, okay. Somebody's trying to take over the ship, the Avengers ship. Seems really good. It looks like the story is going to be very, very interesting. Well, there goes their ship. See? Set up. I think it's Miss Marvel trying to get them back together. The Avengers pose a danger to society. That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Well... We all lost something that day. Ooh, a lot of people died that day. I think the Avengers are going to be fighting for revenge. That'd be cool. I thought that was the Silver Surfer for a minute there, but I don't think it was. Not too bad of a trailer. Still don't know who the villains are for this game. Which I think it's better to wait for the game to come out to announce that anyways. Uh oh. Oh, I thought it was about to announce it right there. So this was me reacting to the official trailer for Marvel's Avenger. Honestly, it looks like it's going to be really good, but with the official trailer, it doesn't really show who you're going to be playing as and what it's going to be. Apparently, if you can kind of tell near the end of this trailer, because of whatever actions happen and whatever events happen, the Avengers are forced to split up and then apparently they were framed and Miss Marvel is trying to get everybody back together for the Avengers. So it seems like story-wise it's going to be pretty sound and I'm just again curious if are you going to be playing as Miss Marvel or is she just there to make the story more interesting? And are you going to get a chance to play as all of the Avengers? I certainly hope so. But I don't think it's going to be you get to choose who to play and you're playing as them. Even though I would love that. If let's say at the beginning of the game you got to choose your character and choose your superhero and follow the story through their eyes. I think it would be a spot on game. I just don't think they're that far advanced in making that kind of game. I think how it's going to be with the mechanics and the characters are through certain points of the game, through certain points of the story, you're going to be playing as certain characters. So some points you might be as the Incredible Hulk, 
Whereas other parts of the game, you might be playing as Iron Man and you might not have a choice of who you're playing as when. So I think that's probably the route they're going to be going at. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto V, where you're switching between the three characters, except you have no choice of which hero you're going to be playing at in certain points of the game. That's just, to me, how I think they're going to go about it. I really wish they did it my way, where at the beginning of the game you got to choose, for example, the Incredible Hulk, and you follow the story in their eyes because there might be certain things in the story that they see or reveal that other characters might not. So it would be awesome if you got to play the whole game through the Incredible Hulk, and then you got to play another playthrough as Iron Man. And I think, honestly, if they were to do that route where you got to choose the character and only play as them for one run of the game, the game would last a lot longer and people would be able to play as all of the characters and it'd be a longer game where people could enjoy. But I still think, regardless, the game is going to be interesting. Of course, it's not Insomniac doing this game this year for Marvels. Everybody thought that Insomniac was going to continue on making the Marvel games. This one here is Square Enix. I always mispronounce their name. Sucks. Let's go over it. But having a different people coming in instead of Insomniac for the game, I don't know if the story, the art design of the characters, the game itself or the mechanics are going to be the same. I hope they're going to be similar than what uh, Insomniac created. I think with PS5 coming out, the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game that was announced for the PS5, I'm sure that's going to be Insomniac. But this game here, I still have high hopes for it. I still think the story and everything's going to be great. It's just not Insomniac, which is what I was expecting. I still think it's going to be a great game, and I think it's going to be very successful. Except... I'm not too sure if it's going to be as successful as Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man's niche is superb in my opinion. Of course, they're making a second Spider-Man game. And the Morales game that's coming out for Spider-Man is almost like an extension to the first game. As like a new story from the first game. It's not actually the second Spider-Man. They are going to be making a second Spider-Man in the future. So it's very interesting to see. It will be successful in my eyes, just not as successful as the first Spider-Man game. Comment down below what you think of Marvel's Avengers. Do you think it's going to be good? Let me know. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.